in the vast expanse of national parks, where tranquil waters meet rocked landscapes, a silent and formidable threat lurks beneath the surface, drowning a relentless adversary reigns as the predominant cause of death among park visitors, claiming countless lives across flat waters, rivers, and the expansive ocean. On July the 11th, 2023, Alaska State Troopers were dispatched to Mandanahill Lake near Mandanahill Glacier in response to a report regarding a discovered kayak with a dry bag affixed to it. The individual who reported the incident stated that they had towed the kayak to shore upon finding it empty with no signs of distress in the surrounding lake area. Alaska State Troopers assumed custody of the items for safekeeping, given the absence of any identifying markings on the kayak. Later this week, on July the 15th, Paul Rodriguez Jr., aged 43, had been reported missing. According to the police, the U.S. Forest Service employee discovered Rodriguez's vehicle parked in the visitor's center parking lot, with Rodriguez last seen walking away from the vehicle carrying an ice axe and helmet. A photo Rodriguez posted to social media showed a kayak near a waterfall at the glacier lake. Alaska state troopers, alongside local Juno police, deployed helicopters and specially trained sea dogs for an extensive search of the area. However, there were no results, until one passing good Samaritan, who found the camera-fitted helmet on the lakeshore, later confirmed to belong to Rodriguez. Paul Rodriguez was known as an avid adventurer, who frequently shared photos from his outings, including some featuring his GoPro-equipped helmet. His last Facebook post depicted a kayak with the caption, headed up to the glacier. Could he have imagined that his camera would capture his death? Reviewing the footage revealed that Rodriguez drowned on July the 11th when his kayak overturned. It was also revealed that he did not appear to be wearing proper safety gear. Jaden Rodriguez, Rodriguez's son, said his father was kind-hearted and enjoyed taking photographs of his outdoor adventures, which also included fishing, paddleboarding, and snowboarding. Hayden Klamenok, a graduate of San Diego State University, was hiking with eight colleague friends on their fourth annual trip to Yosemite on July the 2nd. Friends were exploring the park near the Trail Junction and Chilnualna Creek in the park. According to reports, the trail spans 8 miles and features an elevation gain of 2,400 feet. Hayden disappeared on this day after entering a waterway while hiking with the friends in the park. Michelle Klumanek, Hayden's mother, recounted that her son had slipped and fallen near a creek. According to accounts from friends present at the time, the young man was on his hands and knees attempting to dip his head and hat into the water before the accident occurred. Despite their efforts, Klamanek stated that her son's friends were unable to reach him promptly due to the challenging terrain of the area where he fell. Later in the week, on Sunday, July the 9th, authorities discovered the hiker's body. Park officials informed the family of this finding on Sunday, mentioning that Due to the challenging terrain, it would require approximately 24 hours to recover his body. Hayden's death was a presumed accidental drowning. Suzanne Newcomb, aged 52, an attorney and resident of Indianapolis, was enjoying a vacation with her family at the Olympic National Park. Around 5.30 p.m. on a Wednesday, while the family was on the beach during low tide, with Susan being swept off a rock by a wave. In a swift response, their 17-year-old son immediately jumped into the water to rescue her, while Brian, alerted by the screams of their 12-year-old daughter, also rushed in. Following a struggle amidst crashing waves and clinging to rocks, Brian and his son managed to pull Susan back to shore. Brian described the harrowing experience mentioning the strong current and his fear of losing both his wife and son to drowning. 
with the assistance of bystanders, including vacation and nurses, CPR was performed for approximately 40 minutes until medics arrived to continue life-saving efforts. Brian expressed deep gratitude for the immediate responders, who were strangers on the beach. Despite being airlifted to Olympia Medical Center, Susan Newcomb was pronounced dead. Susan and Brian, married for 29 years, both practiced law in Indiana, with Susan specializing in labor and employment law. The Newcomb family shared a passion for visiting national parks and had explored many of them. Tragically, the incident occurred on their first day of their vacation to Olympic National Park, a destination they had not previously visited. Hans Rapid, known for its technical challenges and powerful white water rapids, is recognized by the Park Service as one of the most difficult and lengthy rapids within the Grand Canyon. Despite its reputation, Mary Kelly from Steamboat Springs, Colorado, embarked on a daring multi-day rafting adventure. Unfortunately, on the ninth day of her journey, tragedy struck when the 68-year-old woman fell into treacherous whitewater rapids of the Colorado River. Promptly, fellow members of the private boat and trip managed to pull Mary from the water. Shortly, Grand Canyon National Park officials were alerted to the emergency situation by a personal locator beacon. Group members initiated CPR on Mary until park rangers arrived on the scene via helicopter with additional emergency equipment. Despite the concerted efforts of both the group members and the park rangers, their attempts to resuscitate Kelly were ultimately unsuccessful. If you are traveling or exploring nature, you are here to have a great time, but the rules apply. Safety is serious. You can't worry about everyone around you. You have to worry about your own safety.